Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew she was awesome. I think she's gonna be my new favorite character. There's just something about her energy that is just amazing. I think she's a little crazy though, like actually. Welcome back super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and we're back. We are back watching The Umbrella Academy season two, episode one. Most people have told me that season two is better than season one. And that excites me, of course. I don't want to overhype myself, but moving forward, I really don't know what to expect because the world got destroyed. We escaped barely thanks to our MVP of the family, number five. I'm really hoping, of course, that we spend some time on Klaus, and I'm really curious about how Vanya is going to fit in with the family, how she's going to be viewed after everything that happened. That's, that, that's the big kind of question on my mind besides what the heck is even going to happen this season. But as always, if you do want to see my full unedited reaction to this episode, that's going to be up on Patreon. Next week's reaction to episode two is also up right now for early access. Thank you for your patience. I know there was a delay a couple of weeks between the first season and the second season. I had a couple of things going on behind the scenes, but we are back now and let's just get into it. The Umbrella Academy, season two, episode one. This is it, season two. Did they get separated? Don't tell me they're gonna get separated in this different time warps or something. At least you guys survived. Question is, when are we? Could you tell me what year? He's like, get away from me, you weirdo. Rude. I mean, their fashion choices must stick out like a sore thumb. He's pretty my type, but I'd have to see him from the shoulders down. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus is checking him out. Okay, but now... Oh, so they're gonna be in separate time zones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the guy's like, hey, someone to yell with me in the raid. I feel your pain. <laughs> of course, Diego is like a cool superhero landing. Eh, it's just too smooth. Okay, who is this person taking all these photos? Oh, look at him rescuing people in like the two seconds of being in this time period. Is this like a full-on invasion? What's going on? What the hell did we do now? <laughs> Isn't that the great question? Whoa! Okay, her powers are just so cool. You can run away, do your best. All these soldiers are gonna have quite the story to tell after this. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, they're all like catching up to the same exact time. Did he just pull a Terminator line? Those are noobs, old timer. Don't tell me the world's ending again. It's just there's just no escape. The world is going to get destroyed somehow, huh? Dang, okay. Very different type of opening with the opening title card, but Hey, right on a mushroom cloud. Oh, is there ever going to be a way to save the world for real? 
That was a really cool action set piece, though, to have. To kind of just set the stage for this season. Oh, Hazel, I'm no history buff, but I don't recall there being <laughs> Did you fall asleep during that class? Days earlier. Ten days. You store the timeline and Is ten days you. plenty of time? Hazel, I know you guys can do crazy things, but... You promised Agnes. What happened to her? Dead. Yeah. Cancer. Oh, come on. We had 20 good years together. I guess forever just wasn't in the cards. Hey, at least I had 20 years. Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel. Who is this? They got matching white hair. I'm very suspicious. Run! They just kill Hazel? Oh, come on. He can't be dead for real. I hope we go back in time and, like, see him or something. It's because they all have matching hairstyles doesn't mean they're a match for you. <laughs> I feel like Five is like, give me a second just to catch my breath and figure out what's actually happening. That's the guy who's taking the pictures. That's, that's the key to this mystery of what the heck is actually happening. I'm selling encyclopedias for my youth group. I was curious if... <laughs> <laughs> Is that some coffee? Ah, uh, there we go. That's what he needs to really function. Five, you and I would get along. Don't tell me this guy is like a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, I've been tracking uh, anomalies in, in the atmosphere. Just waiting. Waiting for what? See, this guy might prove useful. And then the big sensitive one? Sensitive. They cried a lot, kept coming back to the alley. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> My name's Elliot. Whatever, all right? I got 10 days to find them and save the world. Come on, this is your time to step up. All your theories were correct. Who else would like to share? Oh, he's in the psych ward. Dang, he looks so different. What has he been through? Hmm. Or did it just feel like an experiment? No, it was literally an experiment. <laughs> not at this case. Not at this case. He's not exaggerating at all. You say your father is a villain. Oh, yeah. So you had to play a hero. Oh, it's, dude, look at his eyes. Like, he looks so disturbed. Still defies himself in opposition to his father. His dead father. Yeah, why don't you tell that to Luke Skywalker? <laughs> I don't get it, but that's an excellent It is an excellent reference. I get it. I appreciate it. They'll, they'll understand in time. I guess I've never known. I'm ready to find out. Oh. Hey. That deserves a real applause. <laughs> okay, that's just awesome. I like her, and I like their dynamic already. I've been uh, doing a lot better lately, haven't I? Oh, he's just trying to get out of here. Ah, Diego is always up to something. Look, they are going to kill him. They're going to shoot him in the head right here in Dallas. All right, you Oh no, this is not going to work. Bacon. <laughs> she just has it in her shoe. Well done. Because I'm somewhat of a lone wolf myself. Look at that. You guys are like a perfect match. Hey, Diego. Oh, good. I was hoping it would be him. John F. Kennedy. That's because it hasn't happened yet. And it's not going to happen. Not on my watch. I don't know if can they mess with history like that, or is it just going to have, like, ripple effect consequences? Oh no. Oh no. We're back to the same issues with teamwork. This is why you don't have any friends. <laughs> Diego's like, uh, maybe you're right. No, please stop the table, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, just Oh. Nighty night. Okay, what's been up with Vanya all this time? We did. She looks really happy, honestly. She looks very peaceful. Headaches are a lot better. Still no memories. Oh, no way. Get out of here. She for Did she... Okay, is this, is this a cover-up for her, or is... Did she actually forget? I can't tell. Done. Is that what people think, Carl? Yes, it is. But they don't get the... <laughs> 
Oh, talk about a conversation you want to zone out. Ah, oh, it's the boom. Yeah, the boom. He doesn't even realize that she's making fun of him. Very much. I'm sure we'd miss you already. Well, she at least seems really sweet and feel like she's got Vanya's best interests at heart. Oh, depends how hard they make me work to provide you with this wonderful life. I wonder if he's going to cause some serious problems in this season, or if he's just going to be like an annoying side character. Is that Klaus? That is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Wow, what a great new look. That is truly the best change in appearance I have seen. He wins the prize. Oh. <laughs> Oh, great. In the middle of nowhere, slapping each other. <laughs> oh, this has got to be such a ridiculous fight. Yeah, he's definitely going to be like, uh, okay. I wonder how his sobriety's been. If he's been keeping that up, or if he's slipped back into some bad habits. It is the 60s, right? Let's stay strong here, Klaus. Stay strong. Pendant, go fight your own battles. You think you could pick a better time to self-actualize? <laughs> You're loving this, aren't you? I'm not hating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, whatever you need to do. That is right. <laughs> and you are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. <laughs> He's like unrecognizable. She looks so different with that hairstyle. Hmm. So you Little reminder. She just seems so happy. That's so great. Especially after, you know, if you think about what her first marriage was with that, you know, loser. What's that gonna do to Luther, though? Oh, speaking of... I mean, respect to anyone who's even willing to go against Luther. I mean, look how huge he is. He's like, time to win the fight and actually start trying. I mean, honestly, who would bet against Luther? Like, look at the size difference. He's got some moves, too. He's very agile. Wow. That's what you get bringing a knife to a fight like this. I'm assuming that guy's like part of the mafia or a criminal or something. Quit booing. You guys are the stupid guys who didn't bet on him. Like, come on. He should clearly be the favorite. Attaboy. Oh, great. Luther doesn't even have any type of independence. He's, he's not in a good situation. What they do to us, we have one rule. Honor and dignity at all times. Now, look. This guy seems like a real stand up guy. For what? What business is that of yours? <laughs> literally. Literally. Allison, use the rumor. Deliberately shut this door on my foot, boy? That's assault. <laughs> no, that's assault. You have no idea. <laughs> It was fun to watch. Is there any of that cake left? Hmm. She's definitely unhappy in this marriage. Are you smoking? <laughs> she couldn't hold it in for long. How'd you two meet? Because of a lie. That's not a good start to a marriage. It was magical. Music. I feel like the life she has now, she just seems very unfulfilled. I feel bad for Diego. He's in a tough spot. Oh my gosh, seriously, in a straitjacket? Isolated? I wonder if spending all this time here has kind of messed with his sanity. You know, because there's just a look in his eyes where I know Diego's not crazy crazy, but he looks, he looks a little crazy. I mean, he's not one to back away from a fight. It's a great cover of this song, by the way. Is he really going to be able to get out? That's impressive. 
Come on, team up with that girl. She seemed legit. Who are these white-haired guys, and what are they doing, man? <laughs> That's cool with all the lights. That's awesome. They're after him. They're hunting him down. They're hunting. I bet you they're after all the children, huh? Oh, yeah. See? Coming through. I knew she was awesome. I think she's going to be my new favorite character. There's just something about her energy that is just amazing. <laughs> Don't make too much noise. I think she's a little crazy, though. Like, actually. Look out! Alright, enough with the destruction here, people. I feel like you guys are wasting some some serious ammunition. Which way? Right. Why right? Why not? <laughs> That's as good as reason as any. Uh, just like that, there goes the music. Who is this girl? Would you learn how to fight like that? My mother. She's badass too? I mean, come on. Ruthless. Ruthless. I'm more worried about the kid. What kid? By the stage. She's gonna be number five. Say. <laughs> he asked what time I was getting off work. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if it's like a different kid. It's not number five. Nice to see you too, Luther. What do you want? For you to stop hovering like an ambitious stripper and sit down. <laughs> World ends again in 10 days. I have no idea how to stop it. How can you say that? Oh, well, all right. Okay, so that is episode one of season two of the Umbrella Academy. And, I mean, they weren't kidding. We're right back. We're right back in the same situation. I mean, different time period, but very, very similar issues that they have to... I mean, another apocalypse. I, the, the fact that there's another apocalypse makes me really wonder, like, is this inevitable? Is there no escape? Is there just something set in the rules of time in this universe where... They can change like the way that something happens, but they can't truly alter the course of history. Or do they just need to figure out a better way to do it? But I am really interested. I mean, I like having this 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 taking place with you know in the '60s. I feel like that is just the aesthetic is very fresh and very cool. And I feel like we're also going to lead into a lot of other conflicts and problems, whether it be social problems or you know adjusting just to the different time period or the fact that they're very limited, you know, by not being able to use modern day technology. I just think that's going to be a nice. It's it's a cool way to kind of mix things up and keep it fresh. And I'm interested to see like what other issues and problems they experience due to being stuck in this time period. Number five, once again, is kind of taking on the role as being the responsible one in the family. Um, so I, it's it's always cool seeing him do that. Luther, I feel like once again, he got stuck in a very difficult situation here working for what I assume is like the mafia, some type of gang, right? I'm a little disappointed he's not gonna... <laughs> He's not willing to step up and help number five. Allison, I think that's really cool that she's married and she seems really happy. I think that it's a little bit too happy. Uh, things are probably going to fall apart as the, the plot really takes hold and progresses. Diego, I'm so glad he's out of there. And that girl he teamed up with, she just, I don't know. I hope she continues to be in this season because so far from what I've seen of her, she just seems funny, crazy, awesome, just Everything about that character is exciting me. Klaus, talk about a great wardrobe and style change. That's just, it's just so funny. Hopefully he can, you know, kind of make things up with Ben. But going forward in the season, I still, I mean, we're dealing with the same thing, apocalypse, like I said. But now I'm wondering, like, is this inevitable? Are they just, just not going to escape it? And I don't know what the overall arc of this season is going to be. So I'm really curious to see that. Also, of course, these white-haired baddies, are these similar to you know hazel and cha-cha like are they time traveling assassins uh, they feel a little bit different the vibe i'm getting from them 
is maybe they're part of a new organization. So, so the white hair is a hint to something. Uh, I think that's more than just, you know, a desire to be matching and ominous. You know, there's something behind that white hair that I'm sure we're going to get the answer to. But I'm interested. Uh, as always, if you do want to see the full unedited reaction, like I said, that's up on Patreon. Thank you so much to everyone for your support. And next week's episode is also there right now. I'm about to go watch right now. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. Thank you.